Some documents that you want to collect signatures on need to be witnessed by a witness. So in this video, we'll see how you can collect your witness signatures inside of your envelopes, whether you do or don't know who the witness is going to be for your recipients. The process is actually pretty simple, but I'm going to walk you through step by step in this video. And if we haven't met before, welcome. My name is Sofian Saudi. I'm the founder of Solisign Consulting. We are a digital transformation agency that helps financial services companies automate document paperwork and work flows. If you need help setting up your DocuSign templates, creating your integrations, or just automate any sort of document within your organization, you can use the link to book a strategy session with one of us. You can find the link just down below in the description of the video. And if you're new to DocuSign and haven't used it for a very long time, you can download my DocuSign free mastery cheat sheet to help you learn how to use the standard features and how to use the various fields. Now, let's go back to the purpose of the video, which is to talk about witnesses. So how do you collect your witness signatures? inside of DocuSign. The first thing you want to do is to create your envelope, whether you are using a template or whether you're building your envelope from scratch, does not matter. And if you've never built an envelope or template before, you might want to check out this video first, which you'll find in YouTube. Then once you've created your envelope, you want to add a witness group. So how do you add a witness group? Well, instead of assigning a needs to sign action to your signer, what you want to do is you want to change this to signs with witness. And so here we have the option to add our signer. So let's just say that we want to capture a signature from this person that's going to be me and actually I haven't even showed you the document let me show you the document we need to capture a witness signature on this is just a random document that I've found on Google after doing a quick search. I was looking for a document with a placeholder for a witness a signature. That's the one that I found. So we're now looking at an Australian application form for transportation. Who cares? But we want to capture the name and signature of our applicants in those two boxes here. And we also want to capture the name and signature of our witness here. Now that we know that, let's just keep going. So we've told DocuSign this is a signer. Now we need to decide who is going to provide the name and email of the witness. By default, uh, this is set to signer specifies witness, which means that the signer, as they sign, will provide a name and email of the witness who will then receive the email notification from DocuSign inviting them to complete the signing process. But if we did know who the witness was going to be and wanted to enforce who the witness was going to be, we can just specify a witness and here we have the name and email field that appear. But I'm just going to leave that to specif signer specifies a witness. I'm going to click next and then add my fields for my two signers. So here I'm adding the fields for the first recipient and then I'm going to select my witness and add a signature field and name field as well. I'm not going to build any of the other fields. doesn't matter for the example. I'm going to press send now. What this is doing is it's going to send the standard email request to the first recipient to complete the signature. So it's sending it to me. You can see here that I need to review and sign this document. So this document is addressed to myself. So I'm just going to open the envelope and as soon as I will uh, click on continue, I'll be asked to provide the name and email for the witness. So here I'm just going to say that the name is Alex. This is the person's name. Of course, I'm just going to use a dummy email and I can also write a little message for my witness if I want to and then click on continue. From here, I'll just complete the signing transaction as usual and click on finish. Now, my witness had not received the email notification until I clicked finish because a witness can't witness some Thing that hasn't happened, right? So at this point, I'm going to go back to my inbox and normally we should be looking at the witnesses inbox, but since I'm using myself in this example, I'm looking at my own inbox and you can see I've got a new email invite asking me to witness a document. And so this email was addressed to Alex and not to me. And the message here looks a little different as well. It says that I need to witness documents. So I'm going to click on witness document and see what happens. So I'll agree to use electronic signature and click on continue and here I've got a pop-up that asks me my occupation and address. These are required fields for the witness. So I'm just going to populate those and click on submit. And from here, I'll just complete the signing process as usual and click on sign, sign, and then click on finish. And from here, of course, the witness and the signer, as well as the sender, will receive a copy of the completed document delivered to their email, whether it's a link or just a PDF. So that's it for witnesses. It's not that complex. It's very simple. One thing that you need to know, though, is that the witness feature is not available with signing groups. The signing group is something you can set up inside of your account. If you have potentially many users that could complete an envelope, it doesn't matter who. For example, if it's a HR document you're trying to get signatures on, you can select your a pool of your users to countersign an offer letter or 
anything, an I-9 or anything that doesn't really matter who it is signing internally. So that's not available with signing groups. Another feature it's not available with, it's the SMS delivery. And it's actually a video that I've just recorded and I'm going to publish in the next few days. So SMS delivery allows you to send your envelopes and deliver them to your signers by text message instead of email. It's really cool because it really speeds up the signing process. So if you want to be notified when this video goes live, just hit subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.